Welcome back to Build Snot Projects this week. We're jumping right back into the mower and we're gonna start out by building the other tubes for the front suspension here. So basically it's gonna tie in up here and then run back down and then tie in somewhere down here. I'm gonna put a cross piece in here as well so it can have some structure there. Um, so we're gonna just hop right on the bender to start with and start bending some tubes. I got this first tube bent and then kind of cut down to length a little bit and then realized that I really needed to have this piece built. So then I moved on and built two of these. So I built one for each side and then now I can get back to building these things. So um, basically I think I'm gonna run them something like this maybe, not too sure. I'm trying to decide if I want to uh, tie in here or not. I probably will just for some extra strength, but not sure if I'm gonna do another bend there or just run this one straight and then do another notched one in there. It's probably what I'm gonna do. Um, that way I can try to get as much rigidity through here as possible. How's the tube going? Uh, it's gonna be interesting. Definitely don't like doing ones like this, but uh, we'll see what happens. Some nice art artwork you got on here, and I see you didn't put it in a notcher, so I'm assuming this is a certified grinder moment. Yep, certified grinder uh, notching we got going on here. Um, somehow, everything I've built so far I end up with some weird, janky notches like this that I have to do with the grinder and. These ones aren't very much fun. I usually end up screwing them up and uh, either fill them with weld or I get one side correct and then the other side I screw up and I fill it with weld. So, you know, you do what you gotta do. Second try, how's it looking? Uh, still not right, but you know, we'll get there eventually. Still got a few hundred more tries. So, uh, how many tries was that? Uh, a couple hundred probably. Not too sure. A whole bunch. We'll go with more than seven. Yeah. Um, so, it kind of fits. It's not as good as I had hoped, as usual. Um, but it should work and I should be able to use it to at least kind of template the other side and then at least I have kind of a rough idea of where I need to start notching next time. Um, so we'll uh, go ahead and I may end up just using the, that outer bend from the last video that I screwed up because it should be the same angle as the inner one. So uh, it'll save me a little time, don't have to bend another one. I can just start chopping on that one and try to get this thing done tonight.
so these inner tubes are done. Not the prettiest things in the world for the fitment of the uh, notches there, but you know, it'll work. Next time we're working on this thing in a couple days, gonna go ahead and get this kind of cut out and build mounts to go in here. So that's what we're gonna be working on next. But uh, for now, I'm getting really tired, not really sure what I'm saying, so I'm gonna go home and go to bed. So we just turned uh, one of these factory strut tops off of the four-wheeler into this little strut top on here. So basically just cut out what needed to be removed, tacked it in place, um, tried to kind of get the uh, measurements correct. So now basically just build one for the other side and uh, get it tacked in and then we can try to bolt all this stuff up and then Basically, we'll be able to see where the ride height's gonna be in the front. So we're out here in the uh, junk yard that's kind of overgrown with grass right now. Um, we're going to try to remove this valve stem from this wheel. So we can throw it in one of those wheels that doesn't have a valve stem so we can throw some other uh, kind of garbage tires we have on there that should hold some air so we can kind of see what the front's gonna look like. So let's see if we can get this thing out of here. No idea how old this valve stem is, but somehow the rubber's still soft enough. I was able to squeeze it out of there with some uh, little bit of lube on there. Uh, one lawnmower to the next. I guess we'll go see if we can get some tires on that thing. So we just went and dug through some of my spare random tires and such and found these. These are 22 710s, so they'll be a touch shorter than those other ones that were on it. Um, a little closer to the height that I want. These things are pretty well shot. They uh, definitely got their life, um, definitely got, had a hard life, that's for sure. These things are pretty old. I'm pretty sure they're older than older than me by probably about seven or eight years. So, you know, what do you do? They should at least hold air though, so we're gonna get these bad boys slapped on there and uh, see how it sits. Fun fact, these actually came off the original four-wheeler I bought. So I think it was from like 92. So these tires are, uh, I don't know, 30 years old. It should be fine. I guess more air it is. There it goes. Yeah, only 30 PSI. Well, it's got suspension. Whoa. Lose my balance there. So we got these tires mounted up and bolted on and everything. The only issue with them right now is that when you turn the steering, they run into the frame. Um, as the suspension travels up, that's just gonna get worse and be even more, more in the way, I guess. I don't really know what I was trying to say there, but you know what I'm saying, so. Um, we're gonna have to do a different tire size. So these are a 22, yeah, 22 710. So we're gonna drop to a 2610. So it'll be an inch narrower and then two inches shorter overall. It'll lower our ride height a little bit, but we should be able to clear here. We were messing around with it a little bit. And if we take these wheels and mount them the other way, it clears just fine and there'd be no issue. But doing that, it takes it from 50 inches wide overall to a little over 55 inches wide overall. And we don't want that. It looks really dumb when it's set up that way. Uh, so we're trying to keep it at 50 inches wide. So we're gonna get other tires ordered in 
and then when they show up we can kind of go from there if we need to notch this a little bit kind of just push this over we can if we need to redesign the lower control arm setup or kind of move everything forward just a little bit as well we can but to start with we're going to get some shorter tires and then go from there so we'll get those things ordered and then get back to that in the future that's all we have time for for this week's video um, next week we're either going to get started on building the rear suspension for this thing or we may be working on something else not too sure yet it kind of just depends on how the week goes so make sure you stay tuned hit the like and subscribe button if you already haven't and uh, share this video with all your friends and family trying to hit 10,000 subs before too long we got a surprise for you if uh, you get us there quickly if not we may still show you the surprise anyways but definitely hit the subscribe button if you already haven't and thanks for watching